Hey guys, it's me, Zoomad, and you guys know what time it is. It's time for Astroneer Season 2. Now, you guys are probably wondering why Season 1 came to an end so quickly. It's simply because System Era released a new update, and it messed up the world. It became unplayable. So, sadly, we are moving on to a new world. So... I'm super, super hyped to try out this new update. Like, I've heard they've added, like, a shredder and all that. And I guess, yeah, that's there's nothing else to really say, you know? I'm going to be doing a series of update 0 0.9. Alright, so we're ready to get going in our new world. And one thing, though, is... Hopefully, System Error will not be releasing any updates until, like, I guess, like, the big 1.0 update everyone's super excited about that will be coming out later on in December. And if that is true, then this world should hopefully not get corrupted for a while, so I should be able to have a long Astroneer series and get a lot accomplished in the series without the world getting corrupted. So, that's pretty much all I have to say right now. I'm going to enter a time lapse soon where I'm going to talk about some very important information regarding my channel, like upcoming, like I guess, video series, um, video release schedule, just basic information like that. During this time lapse, I want to talk about a few major changes coming to my channel. First, I'm going to start a Minecraft SMP to celebrate the release of the Aquatic Update. I might also start a Terraria series, but that will probably be further in the future because I don't want to overwhelm myself with three gaming series and animations, especially since school is about to start again. Also, I've designed a schedule that will hopefully make my video releases more consistent. I'm planning on having weekly gaming videos. Because my gaming videos will be coming out this often, it will slightly delay my animations, but not by a significant factor. I'll I'll still try to make monthly-ish animations. After I release an animation, I will dedicate the entire next week to gaming videos, hopefully releasing two or three videos in one week. Then the entire schedule repeats. Plus, I know you guys probably notice an annoying echo in the background of my gaming videos. It's simply because, while I can record audio for my animations in my closet, my computer that I game on is in a large open room, causing echoing. So I might be getting acoustic panels in the near future so that you guys don't have to do with annoying echoes. Lastly, this is just something I have to get off my chest. In an earlier animation, I mentioned that my computer couldn't handle rendering gaming videos, but now you're probably wondering, wait, then how are you making gaming videos? Well, it turns out I was rendering in the wrong format, and I found out I was rendering at 144 frames per second instead of the intended 60. So that's all I have to tell you during this time lapse. See you soon! <laughs>
Okay guys, I am back from making that time lapse. So I just spent a couple hours resource gathering, expanding the base, and yeah, now we have a pretty decent base going. However, this is only temporary, because if you guys have seen Season 1 of my Astroneer series, the one that got killed off early by the by System Era's update, I decided I was going to build a really big fort, and I actually got a few ideas, and one of which was, um, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but those holes behind me, they have tethers in them. They kind of appear to be glowing. Now, um, I'm thinking I could amplify that kind of effect with, like, work lights if I just put them in there. But I don't really know how to describe it because I don't know if you guys can see it well. But, like, the holes are glowing, but the land around them isn't. Oh, here, if I disable this. There. You guys see what I'm talking about now? They're, like, glowing, but the land isn't, and I thought it looked really cool. And so, I was thinking we could probably, like, play around with, like, lighting and whatnot in the base, and I think that would be really cool. So, I got this base going, and I also, um, I came up with the strategy of a way to get resources very fast. It's pretty overpowered, I'd say, because it's very easy to get, and it doesn't require, it requires very little research and resources. So, you start out your world, you get your smelter, and um, you get your fabricator and your smelter, and then you gather some ores, and then you then research the mineral extractor, and then you keep on researching, and then you want to get the boost mod and the wide mod. Now, you guys can probably see where this is going, because I have a bunch of canisters on my backpack. But you simply dig out an area, and then you just put it through the mineral extractor, and you can get resources very fast. That's what I did throughout the time lapse, if you paid attention to it. So I'm just going to turn this on. Now, while I'm editing this video, I'm actually going to see how long it takes me to fill up all the canisters. So yeah, and go! Now, you do need to stay tethered while you do this, because otherwise the augments will just eat up your power. But look guys, I've already filled three canisters. It's super fast. Now sadly, I am kind of limited on where I can go with this right now, and that's because I didn't bring tethers in my backpack with me. There are some on that astroneer, so I'm just going to grab those real quick. Um, I'm going to drop a full canister and grab these tethers. Then that way I can continue digging for a longer time. And at this point, I, while I'm editing, I probably would have resumed the timer at this point. Alright, I'm going to continue digging now. Now, just look at how fast it's filling up the canisters. It's insane. And yeah, we're done. We just filled it up. And now I'm probably flashing on the screen right now or something while I'm editing this, the amount of time, the insanely short amount of time it took me to fill up 10 canisters. That was 10 canisters filled up in that short of time, which is just insane. And then you pretty much just repeat this cycle over and over again, and you can pretty much get any resources you want within like minutes. All right, so now we're back up here and now we just simply, whoops, wrong button. Um, we simply deposit, well, I will. I simply deposit all the soil from all that digging I did. And yeah, it's going, you just get an insane amount of resources from this. It's really ridiculous and I absolutely love it. And I will definitely be using this in the future more often. I'm probably going to use this as my main source of resources and the trading platform as well. Now, one thing that I'm thinking of doing in this episode is just laying out some basic plans for my base. And I'm still deciding whether I should have it here, like where my base is right now, or if I should move it elsewhere because, like, this is a pretty good spot, but then yeah, I'd have to deal with the constant, like, 
hum of the generator running, this one right here. And I find it really annoying, and I don't want to have to deal with that while I'm at my base. So I'm still considering it. But one thing that I'm definitely going to have to do is probably from exploring in spaceships and whatnot, I'm going to have to get some lithium, and then I'll use this mineral extractor to get a bunch. And that, um, and that cave down there I'm going to use as kind of like a big battery reserve area. I'm going to um, wire my base down into the cave, and I'm just going to try to fill it with as many batteries as possible. I'm also thinking next to my base, I'm just going to have an entire field of solar panels on these large platform D, on the large platform D or whatever, Ds, whatever, <laughs> I can't English today. So, oh wow, this got done. So I'm planning on having a bunch of these and wind turbines off in another place. And then that way my base can pretty much have almost infinite power, really. And one thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to have the bottom of it be kind of like a garage area where I can like bring in rovers and whatnot and park them. And I'm also going to incorporate some sort of system where I can actually plug them in like into the walls and whatnot. And another thing I'm going to do is then the next floor will be like refineries, research stations, basically all this kind of stuff. And then the next floors above that will be storage. And then I'm thinking on top I could have a vehicle bay with a spacecraft. And then that way if I go to another planet and I come back with a lot of research or resources or anything like that, I'm going to have drop chutes, like kind of like laundry chutes in a house, which will be holes up there. And I'm going to use those, I'm going to have those so that I can just come down, I can come back and then I can simply just dump all my resources down and it will go right to where it needs to be. And then that way I don't have to take multiple trips of just going back and forth and back and forth from the spacecraft. So I'm thinking I'm going to want the base to be a square shape. So I've actually made a bunch of large platform type D. Uh, I made a bunch of large platforms here. Yeah, large platform Ds. Is that how you say the plural form of it? I'm not sure. So I'm going to use a bunch of these to actually measure the perimeter of my base. So I'm simply going to like place one, then place the other next to it, and so on and so on and repeat. So we can actually get some side lengths of the square that we would want. So if I place these here, by the looks of this, I'd say we probably want the, my base to be maybe six of these by six, the square, which will be the bottom floor, which will be like the garage and whatnot. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking I need to see this better in an actual light with all these laid out, so I'm going to print up a bunch more. Okay, guys, um, a little change in plans. I was going to make a bunch of large platform Ds, but then I remembered I really want to try out the shredder, which is what they added in this new update. So let's look for it real quick. Oh, I bet it's here. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we could get a medium or a large. Whoa, I have 14,000 bytes? My, my, oh my goodness. Alright, I knew I was doing research, but I did not know I did that much research. That's insane. Well, we're going to get the large shredder. We're gonna try this out. So, what does it cost to make the large shredder? Let's see here. Two aluminum. Well, I'm making aluminum right now, so that'll be available soon. And ah, I always get stuck in there. So I'm going to need two aluminum and two resin to make a platform for it. So I'm thinking first I'm going to fabricate the platform for it. And then I will grab two aluminum once that's all done and make the large shredder. All right, I am now ready to start the making the large shredder. So I have found a lot of debris. I've just never collected a bunch of it, really. So I feel like we could probably trade this off for a lot of cool stuff. This is going to be really cool. All right, let's unpack it and 
Now I see why everyone on the internet thought it looked like a space toaster. So, I need to... Oh my goodness, I'm stuck again. Ah! Great, now, now there's a storm coming. Oh no. Wait, is it coming towards us? Okay, it looks like it's just blowing past, so we should be okay. I'm not sure where to put this for now, so I'm probably just going to pop it right down here. Whoa. Wait a sec. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know why. That's just a really fun animation to watch. I mean, Astroneer has some pretty sick animations for their machinery and whatnot. So yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. It's very loud. I hope you guys can hear me. Alright. So yeah, I guess the, um, the pieces don't give you a whole lot of scrap, but I mean, it can be useful. We can trade a lot of stuff, which actually means I'm going, if I'm going to be shredding a lot of stuff, I'm going to need to get a trading platform soon. Now, I need, so, once again, um, back to my original plans, I'm going to have to make some large platform Ds. Alright, I'm gathering some, I was just gathering some more dirt. I was just gathering some more dirt, and I noticed this really obnoxious thing. Okay, I'll stop. Now, a thought I just had as I was coming out of this cave, um, getting some soil so I could get just a little bit more aluminum to finish making the large platform Ds, I realized, what if I just had a rover, like a train? I sent- and then I sent it down the cave, and I went down there, except it was just full of medium storage that was just full of empty canisters, and I filled it up. Imagine how long I could go without having to gather resources. And do remember, this thing filled up, what was it, 10 canisters, and I'm going to edit in whatever small amount of time it was. So, yeah, nothing else to say. All right, I noticed something really strange. Whenever I unplug this, it just keeps on spinning. I mean, it doesn't make any progress, of course, but I find it kind of strange. Alright, we have solar power again. And that is all done, getting us the last of the aluminum. Alright, and let's see here. Um, I have three over there, so I need to print two more. And I have three aluminum, and each one is two aluminum, so I just need one more. But I'm gonna smoke all of them. Alright, I have three more large platform Ds, and I just opened this one and... I don't know. I guess just because the box was on its side, because these did similar things. But, oh my gosh, that's gonna get very annoying. Oh no, now they're all doing it. No! Okay, thanks. So, I'm thinking I can use these legs, kind of, I can make them form a line, and then that way I know I'm making a 90 degree angle when I'm measuring these things out. And yeah, so I'm gonna place these all in. That moment when you realize that you've been placing these wrong. Yeah, I forgot, I was gonna make this 6x6, six six, not 3x3, three three, so... But, I think you guys get the idea. Alright, so this is approximately how long one side of my base will be. I mean, it's not total- it's not perfectly accurate, but it's close enough to be a good demonstration. So, either side will be this long. I think this is a good size for, like, the main inside part of it, where, like, I'm gonna have all the refineries and keeping my vehicles. The outside, I'm going to decorate quite a bit. But yeah, this should definitely be a good size, but now we need to find out where we're going to be putting it. You know, I'm thinking probably right here would be a good spot for the base, and the reason is simply 
Um, I don't want to be near that because, you know, the noise, I've already been over this. And also, this thing is going to be kind of tricky to hide in the base, you know what I mean? And so I'm thinking one thing that would be really cool to do is like, um, because later on in the in the series, some friends might um, might join in. They um, they could basically fly in from the sky in multiplayer, land here, and then it would just be like I could have like a path that once I get terrain analyzers, I could make a path that just leads up to like my big base, which would be right here. So yeah, I'm considering that's going to be the spot, which means now it's time to take measurements. All right, guys, I got all the platforms over there. I spent way too long going back and forth carrying them. There's a storm there, but it's not coming for us. We'll be okay. And I just realized that before I can even lay anything out or take measurements, I have to flatten this area. And so that also made me realize that I'm going to have to get some mods. Now, I gave myself the terrain analyzer already, but, um, well, if I'm painting anything different colors, I'm going to need that. I'm trying to remember where the rest are. All right, and then we need the alignment mod. I know I will probably be using, there's a chance I might use the narrow mod because once again, I'm going to be playing around with the lighting, which means I might be like taking bright lights and putting like things around them to cast shadows, things like that. But I'm not so sure, so I'm going to wait before I get that. So yeah, um, let's see, I have a boost and a wide mod. I'm going to need an alignment mod, definitely so that I can make sure, like, the floors and the walls and everything are all lined up nice. So we don't have anything that, like, looks off. Alright. This is super convenient. I just... I love this mineral extractor technique to get resources. Alright, then we pop right into the smelter. And we're ready to go. Alright, we have our copper, which means we can now make the... Oh my goodness, I've forgotten already. Um, what was it? The alignment mod, that's it. Silly me. Just realized I don't have any canisters for, full of soil, which means I'm not going to be able to flatten anything out, so... We'll be back. All right, so I got some soil, and I'm thinking this would probably be a good spot to start flattening. So I'm not sure though, because I'm like, where do I want the bottom of my base to be? I'm thinking I probably want it like at this level, so that it's level with the rest of the ground, so I can pull in cars and whatnot. And then whenever I clear out this hill, that'll just provide me with even more soil without having to run all the way down to the cave. So yeah, I'm going to start flattening this now. Alright, so I'm thinking of making a time lapse now, just so that you guys don't have to sit around and just watch me dig a bunch of dirt. So yeah, let's start the time lapse.
Okay guys, so I have this area all flattened out. It looks pretty nice. Now it's not perfect, but there are a few mistakes that will be fixable and I will re-flatten it. So it's just, it's all nice. So, you know, you guys will actually be able to appreciate it. Um, I also have four pillars here marking the corners of the walls. They're all measured out. They're all ready to go for my next episode. Now, hopefully this season will be lasting longer than season one. And I'm super hyped to get into playing update 0.9. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed this episode of Astroneer, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!